Stranger Than Fiction. A live commentary of you two would be a great gift. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know if I can pull that off now. Although I am still riding high after Ohio State winning today. Yeah. I need practice. <laughs> oh, God, we're starting off a team no fun in the ring as Buffy and Isnain lock up. Fun fact, Isnain... By his name. Fun fact, his name is actually not black, but uh, he likes to make everybody think he is. And he, for some reason, has Bam Bam Bigelow tattoos on <laughs> his head. <laughs> It looks like he gave him a ball hat or something. Nope, those are tattooed into his skull. They are permanent. He cannot get rid of them, so he will never find a real job. And then there's uh, and then there's Pocket the No Funny Man. He he strives himself on playing the Vita, Sanico Six, and generally making no fun happen. Part of the inspiration for his outfit, as the third participant comes in, and it is Angel Halo sporting the Hagar look. Angel Hill has a birthday boy today, so everybody round of applause for the birthday boy. <laughs> Too bad he couldn't get a birthday gift of coming in last, because it is really tough to enter first, well, first, second, third, anywhere in the first half and make it all the way to the end. He doesn't care. He looks like he's in high spirits today. Foffy's skinning the cat to get back into the ring, as Angel with a kick to the midsection of his name. Oh, that did not look good. Isnay now with a backhanded chop. Angel stops him from eliminating Foffy. I am tripping over my own words because I am so excited about this match. And out number four is Blonde Guy Gamer, sporting his makeshift double dragon tee. And Blondie taking his sweet ass time getting to the ring as what a toss by Angel Halo. <laughs> Things are not looking good for Isne, not at all. He'd better bring out his street cred if he hopes to win this match. And Isne is backing off. Wait, now he goes in for Angel Halo while he's near the corner. <coughs> Test of strength. Angel Halo into the chin lock. Now Angel... Oh no! Weapon of mass destruction on Isne! Wande is just beating the crap out of Poppy here. I don't know how much more Poppy can take. Running neckbreaker by his name as now Blondie and Foffy jockey for position. Angel gets thrown out of the ring. Now Isney trying to push him out. Angel with a shot to the face and he gets back in the ring safely. Oh, that would have been a nice hit from Blondie there. And we have our fifth competitor coming out. I can't see who it is yet. It's... Wait, wait, wait! It's Jazzy Chin! Why the fuck does he have a cape? Somehow, Fabi's making a comeback here. Oh, he almost got Blondie out of the ring there. Well, now Fafi being pressed against the turnbuckle by Blonde Guy Gamer. Jeez, how much punishment can one there. man take? Then again, he bought the Vita, so... We know he could take quite a hit. Oh, Angel Halo gets knocked out oh. of the ring by Isname. He is the first <laughs> man eliminated well, from the 20-man rumble. There goes the birthday boy, pissed off that he get that he was at first. Well, I don't know if he'll be that pissed off as Poppy eye gouges Jazzuchin, because now he can go and eat more pizza. Flung <coughs> 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 over the top rope, but he holds on. I have no idea what our ropes are doing right now, but oh man, here comes Pony <coughs> Rokaku at entry number six. What is? The over-under on the odds of his hat falling off are zero. Wonder if Kaku is the new man on the block in this uh, in this RCW match. Indeed, he just recently joined River City Gamers with his wrestling podcast, The Raw Down Rebound. As now I finally checked that out. Him against the trying to get him out of this match early, is named trying to eliminate the most powerful person first. Boffy just does not want to let go. Wait! Oh! He's still on! Buffy staying in the ring to make sure that no one has fun in this match. As Isnane with a knee to Blondie's head as he tried going for the vertical suplex. And now Oni going after Jessica. Wait, no, he turns around and tries going after Buffy, but he's already locked up with Blondie. And big atomic right drop now? as who should be coming down the ramp now? 
I still can't quite see who it is. Oh no. What is this? Actually, who is that? Wait a minute. He's going after blood. It's his brother! Ninja Raptor 6 has entered and he's going after Foppy. Foppy tried calling timeout and the brother does not care. Only one man's been eliminated so far in this match and there's six in the ring right now. Who's By next? rules, we can only have six people in a match so someone will have to be eliminated before we can have another entry come out to the ring. Oh! That, that rule, of course, instated because of Yomacon and the traffic problems they had in their dealer room back in 2010-2011. What a shame. What a shame. At least everything was in the same place. The Tobo was just confusing. Bunny goes over the top but holds on to the bottom rope. Oh. And now Fafi tries to kick him out of the ring. Blondie's brother doesn't know that he's out. He's been forced out by Fafi. Oh! Meanwhile, is they drop kicked over the top rope? Oh, but he hangs on. <coughs> now Ninja Raptor 6 trying to push Isney out. He's got him out. One half of Team No Fun has been eliminated. How is Fluffy hanging in there? I have no idea. He must really want the team to have no fun today. Fluffy doing every dirty trick in the book he can to make sure he stays in as long as possible. <coughs> As now Oni Rokaku going after the only person among the River City Gamers who has significant martial arts slash fighting training. Smart move? Yes? No? Well, technically I have a black belt in Taekwondo, but you don't see me bragging about it. Yes, but he is still practicing. In fact, he teaches people in his free time. That's true. Maybe I should get some lessons from him. Oh, big front kick to the face! As now Jazzerton skins the cat and his cape defies the laws of physics to come back in. He does not want to let go. Oh, Wait, Bobby who's that down a, there? Bobby with a kick below the belt. Now Jazzerton catches his kick, forces him down. As, um, oh my god, Oni Rokaku got thrown out of the ring by Ninja Raptor 6. He's not happy about that. And now Amahiro Akago comes to the ring. I have no idea why he's dressed like that. I guess just because he can. When you do online streaming, you're not too worried about how you're dressed for the occasion. <laughs> and blockbuster by Amahiro Akago. Away. I wonder if he'll record this on his next podcast. I don't know. I probably won't that be able to see it because he is recording it from the Netherlands and I usually rarely ever see it unless I'm at work. Foppy now shoved into the ropes, possibly doing a favor for Jazzkin who picks Foppy up. Atomic drop! Foppy flies out of the ring! Oh, he finally goes down after a long, hard fight. He'll just have to go back to the locker room and make sure people don't have fun there as Shadow Snake now comes out to the ring. Foppy will have to hand beat us into everybody. Oh, Jazzerton just eliminated Ninja Raptor 6. Wow. Uh, that was an unexpected turn of events. Jazzerton is on the fire artists. right now, having eliminated the last two competitors in a span <laughs> of about 10 seconds. on Amaiuro Akago and Shadow Snake double teaming on Jazzichin, double gut buster. The pinball wi wizard really needs some help now. Let's see if he can tilt things in his favor. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> I did. I still think you should do that stand up. I will. I won't tell you when it is though. As now she tries to walk up with Jazzy Chin, and we have our next entrant. It is well on real 007. He slowly makes his way out to the ring as Jazzy Chin tries to eliminate Shadow Snake. I heard they had to have him go through a metal detector to make sure there wasn't any explosives on him. Well, I would certainly believe that with the explosive history of Unreal. As now Shadow Snake <laughs> makes his way back into the ring, 
Unreal comes in. Let's see who he goes after first. Oh, he's going right after Shadow Snake with a monkey flip. <laughs> now a backhand to the jaw of Shadow Snake. Akago is out on his feet as he takes a neckbreaker from Jazuchin. Truth or consequences to Shadow Snake from Unreal. We have now gone through at least half of the competitors in this rumble. We are no closer to determining who is going to survive to the last bit. As now Shadow Snake yeah. with a backhanded shot to Unreal. We are ready for our next competitor. And it's Wizful 100 charging out to the ring with purpose. And he falls on his ass. I don't know what that was. Now Jeff's King with a leg sweep as Shadow Snake gets thrown out of the ring. He is very upset about being thrown out of the ring early. Come to think of it, would anyone not be upset at being thrown out of the ring? Other than maybe Angel Halo because it's his birthday and he can go back to doing what he wants to do instead of being forced into this Royal Rumble? I guess you're right there. Jazzerton's still hanging on. Just barely. Wait, Jazzerton called timeout. Wizward does not care. Wizward forces <laughs> him back into the corner. Trying to force him over the top rope. As Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shadow Snake is going up. Unreal has been eliminated with a huge clothesline by Akago. And right as Shadow Snake leaves, the bullshit angry gamer comes in. We never <laughs> see them in the same place at the same time. Could they be the same person? Nah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard for me to tell the difference between Wiz and the bullshit angry gamer. They're kind of wearing the same clothes and have the same hairstyle. And have the same height, same weight, same face. But I'm sure it's a coincidence. As now Wizworld being forced against the top rope by Akago, who whips him over, but oh, oh, Wizworld hangs on to the ropes. Jazzer should not give it up anytime soon. I guess that's why they call him the Pinball Wizard. Oh no! It looks like Bullshit Angry Gamer might have some reinforcements on the way to the ring, as the really angry gamer is the next entrance. <laughs> Two angry gamers in one ring at the same time. This is madness. This is an old joke, so I'm not going to say that. The Jazz is still holding on. I can't believe how well he's doing tonight, folks. I know. He was one of the first six entrants into this rumble, and he is not eliminated. But Wizwar 100 is. Akago eliminating Wizwar 100. As now the Angry Gamers are turning on each other. Really Angry Gamer trying to force out the bullshit Angry Gamer. Akago with a spin kick to Jazzerton's midsection. As, wait a minute. As Wizwar leaves, the furiously fresh from the main 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 Angry Gamer comes to the ring. This is a <laughs> hell of a coincidence. <laughs> I'm wondering if he's going to tell people to get the property off the spot. Oh, and the really angry gamer eliminates the bullshit angry gamer, and the angry gamers continue to fight each other. <coughs> As Jazzerton gets Akago up on the turnbuckle, trying to force him over the top. And he's got him over the Akago hangs onto the bottom rope and crawls back in. And now, really angry gamer reversing the grapple of the furious angry gamer, now pushed back into the turnbuckle. Why am I even looking at these guys? The more interesting fight is to the right of them. Johnson still growing strong here. And whoa, who's that coming in? It's the generic angry gamer. Jazzerton with a running drop kick to the side of Akago's head. Jazzerton favoring his arm. He might have hurt it at some point during this match, but he is still going. What a trooper he is. <laughs> Can no one take down the pinball wizard? Oh no. Blonde, the blonde, generic, angry shit. 
This is so tough to call this furious action from RCW. Let's just which use is for their, some reason uh, in a WWE ring. Let's just use their acronyms. Okay, we got the fag, we got the rag, and we got the gag. I just got in here. What's going on? They're commentating over that match. And now oh. gag into a rear grapple. The fag is in the back the, of Jazzerchin. I don't know how that's supposed to hurt him at all. Against the... Or, sorry, not the mag. That's not the mag. That's the... Rag. It's so confusing. The mag is coming out to the ring. Um... <laughs> And now, Akago with a rear grapple on the generic Angry Gamer. Gag reverses it and starts clubbing the back of Akago repeatedly. Mag now tying up the with Jazzy Chin. The fact is just beating on the rag. He is just not letting him go. Veronica Angry Gamer focusing in on Jazzy Chin. He's been in a very long time, so he's got to be pretty weak right now as the fag eliminates the rag. Jazzichin trying his best to stay in, but but the mag is just not letting up on him. Uh, over the top rope! No! Jazzichin stays in. He's still in the game, folks. Wind up, punch to the face of Akago. Now Fag goes on the gag and scratches his back. Why do you keep doing that? <coughs> Moronic Angry Gamer has Jazzichin dazed. What is he going to do? Jazzerton reverses into an overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplex. There's some real magic going on here today. I am very curious as to how all of the Angry Gamer parodies managed to be 10th or later in this rumble. I find that slightly suspicious. As now Akago, test of strength with the, ma the moronic Angry Gamer. Backhanded shot by the mag. As now the fag and the gag fighting each other. Reversal by the gag. Gag Just on the fag. Just trying to mag on the splitting. Mag <laughs> on the ag go. Jazz oh. with a oh. Jazz with up? a rear waist lock. Oh. Big side suplex by Jazzy Chin. <laughs> oh, the furiously as the gamer has been goes. eliminated oh. by the gag. But as one Angry Gamer leaves, another one arrives as the nerdy Angry Gamer runs faster than he ever has in his life to the ring. Jazzichin with a flipping leg drop to the mat. Generic Angry Gamer thrown over the top rope by Akago. Looks like he's leading. Now Mag being double teamed. Triple teamed Ooh. in fact. Everyone in the ring is throwing him out. Oh, but he hangs on and gets under the bottom rope. Now I could go with a rear reversal. Kick to the midsection by the nag. Jessica with a huge uppercut to the mag. Akago and nag. Mag and jazz. Jazz, mag, gag. No, wait, he was eliminated. Nag. Akago is just beating on the nag. How does he still have energy left? How is he lifting him over the turnbuckle like that? Can anybody lift him? He's the Andre the Giant. Nobody can lift him. <laughs> Mag thrown face first into the turnbuckle. Tra Jazzerton trying to force him out as Hero Swing makes his way to the ring, wearing by far less clothing than anyone else in this matchup. Akago calls tag out. Time out. Nag almost fell for it, but shoved him into the ropes. Running neckbreaker by Akago. And Jazzichin continues trying to eliminate the mag. Hero Sui with Oh! Heel turn! Hero Sui turning on his fellow European. Trying to eliminate Akago. And he just does not care as Akago goes right after the nag again. Oh, Akago is bleeding from the forehead. Nag maybe smelling blood. Zero's in on it. And speaking of zero, our next the Canadian entry, Ranger has finally entered the ring. The Red Canadian Ranger Zero Master has entered the ring, and he immediately goes after the nag. 
So you bad think it's love a between these two. Bitch? I think they disagreed on a retro review or something. I don't know the history. Now Nag decides to switch and go after Jazzichin. He wants nothing from Zero Master. Now here is Sweet Dragon. Eliminates Zero Master. Big clubbing clothesline to the back of the head. And Meg! Meg eliminates Akago with a huge atomic drop! Akago is finally out. Jasuchin is still in the ring though! And how did Zero Master get eliminated? That was quick. Zero Master. I guess PC wins this time. Zero Master off to fight evil in another wrestling promotion. He's a very busy man. Podcasts, game reviews, Power Rangering, saving lives, taking names. Uh, Nag calls timeout. Jazzichin falls for it. Now we'll go behind into a chin lock by Jazzichin as Hero Sway fights his way out of elimination. And Jazzichin eliminating the Nag with a huge clothesline over the top rope. This man just does not want to go down! Jazzerton's performance eerily reminiscent of when Kane eliminated a record-setting number of competitors as Hiroshi with a big boot to the face of the mag sends him flying out of the ring! Well, that just leaves the two of them in the ring for now. There are only it two competitors left in the ring. Can Jazzerton beat fend off Hiroshi? Jazzerton, the guy who is in this because he showed up in our Skype calls during... <laughs> oh, wait a minute! Coming to the ring, the strategizer of Beastarizer. The only person who calls him that is himself. SCXCR coming to the ring! Scott, I'm sorry. <laughs> you go ahead and laugh. But they're double-team Jazzerchin. Twin super kicks to Jazzerchin. It's just not. These not are the, the final three competitors. Why is Hero Sweet wearing those goofy looking boots? I don't know. The Swedish are weird. That that's that, that's very true. I I cannot <laughs> think that point at all. As SCR forcing Hero Sweet back into the turnbuckle. SCR just wants to get rid of that Swedish bastard. I think Jazzerton can sympathize as now he tries to eliminate Hero Sweet. Ah, Heroes is showing great strength, able to fight off elimination very quickly from either of these two. You have to imagine that with SCXCR just coming into this matchup, that is it going to come down to either him, it's going to come down to him and either Heroes Hui or Jazuchin. Jazuchin now bleeding. I don't know how much longer he can hold out. He's he stayed in this entire match. He was fifth or sixth in. Oh, ravishing neck breaker to SCXDR. That could be a game changer. I'm not too sure. That guy's full of spunk. He doesn't show a lot of his emotions all the time because he's oh, keeping it inside the ring. By oh, hero swing, clothesline over the top rope. It is down to SCXDR and Jazzerchin, both the green wearing people. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know about you, but I'm rooting for Jazzerchin in this match. It's He's not been easy a being green. Jazzerchin can attest to that. Now, chin lock thrown into the turnbuckle as the XR trying to force Jazzerchin over the top rope. Upper body strength is not SCXCR's forte, but damn it, he tries. This could be a close one. Jazzerton has physical fatigue, but uh, SCXCR has taken quite a couple of big hits. Indeed, the ravishing neckbreaker, one of Hero Sweet's finishers that he just <laughs> ate. No reversal. Into a chin lock by Jazzerton. Big uppercut to the jaw. Kick to the midsection. Series of jabs to the face. Jazzerton with a reversal on the ropes. Now a go-behind waist lock by Jazzerton. 
side suplex by Jazzichin. Trying to keep SCR grounded. He's not strong, but he is fast, so that's probably a good idea. Now shoving him into the ropes. Can SCR fight off elimination? Ooh, right hook to the temple. Kiss of strength in the middle of the ring. Into a headlock. Big right hook to the side of the face. Oh, and SCR clothesline. Jazzichin thrown out of the ring. And SCR wins. You and know why he wins? Good Nothing. Because this rumble was fucking pointless. What an upset. Jazzichin losing after winning all those matches in the ring. This will go down in history as a thing. A thing that happened. Come back after the commercial for, uh, for our live interview with the winner. <laughs> oh, gee. That'd be nice. Oh, <laughs> oh that was fun. Uh. <laughs> and we're back with our with the big winner tonight's Global SCXCR. How are you feeling? Oh. I was right there for a moment. I mean, I got really lucky. I got the final entry, and I got a real tired opponent, but even when he's tired, he fights like a fox backed into a corner, or whatever the hell that Gray Fox quote is. Yeah, that Jazzichin stands from fifth or sixth in, and he was going the entire time. Both of you were pretty evenly matched, though, when it was coming down. You took a pretty big hit early, early from the hero sweep. Yeah, that half-naked bastard hit me with the ravishing neck breaker. I'm going to have to try and sleep that off, but I'm going to be really sore tomorrow. Maybe make a trip to urgent care, see if I can get some painkillers. Still feel pretty good, though. Well, that's good to hear from our winner. Back to you, Scott. Man, SCR really sounds a lot like me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Good news! I hope you upload that, Scott. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so wait, yes? So when's the, so when's the commentary well, I, going? I guess I have to now. Yeah.